what's up everybody welcome back to my channel this your boy greg reacts and today i'm going to be reacting to the meaning of islam muslim spoken word so one of my subscribers have requested me to react to this video um i have a little bit of idea of of islam but um and what they mean but i, I love spoken word so i love to hear uh, people's different takes on on their religion. You know, everybody has their own take on on uh, how how the earth was made, how everything was created. You know what they believe in. I take nothing away from nobody because everybody has their own way of life. They have their own way of living. So this is just one version of somebody's uh, of somebody's living. Um, if you're gonna comment, just be respectful, be mindful. Um, if you don't agree, that's okay. But today, I'm going to react to it, so let's get to it. What are we doing here, and where are we going to go? It's like we just woke up one morning, and then it's welcome to the show. Don't ask any questions, just go with the flow. Make as much money as you can and try your best not to get broke. Copy everything you see on the TV from the hairstyles to the clothes and don't think too often, just do exactly as you're told. Mm. And if you ever get confused, then just turn towards the alcohol. You still hear your thoughts, then just turn up the radio as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But in all honesty, I just need to know, is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old? Living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own. I just really need to know before the caskets close. Cause I'm not willing to gamble with my soul nor am I ready to take any chances. These are just simple life questions and I'm just searching for some answers. Like what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here and who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go or is this world all really worth it? Questions we don't answer because apparently we don't really have to. There's no purpose to this life and our existence is merely natural. Then in that case, please let me ask you, did you create yourself or was it somebody else who had fashioned you? Cause you're a being that's impeccable, faultless and unparalleled. You're a product of supreme intelligence and I'm merely being rational. For there isn't a camera on this earth that can come close to the human eye Nor a computer that can compete alongside the human mind And if the whole world was to come together we wouldn't be able to create a single fly So many signs yet we still deny the science tries to justify that all this could come from none When it's a simple sum, zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever give you one so from where did all this order come? But everything has its origins, a maker, a creator of its own. I mean, the only reason you're watching this video is because somebody had to press upload. So we can believe in the Big Bang, but I'd rather believe in he who caused it to explode. Allah, the creator of everything along with every single soul. The ever living, the master, the only one who is in control. Unlike his creation, beyond our imagination. And no, he's not a man, nor does he have any partners in association. He's on his own. And no, he did not ever leave us alone. Just like every manufacturer, he left us with an instruction manual. The Quran and Islam, and I'm sorry to jump to conclusions, but it's the only one possible. The only definition of God is the one and only supreme being. It's logical. A book with zero contradictions, with miracles that are both scientific and historical. All revealed over 1400 years ago. 
like the detailed description of the human embryo. The descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the seventh century. To the mountains as pegs hold and confirm the earth below, and the two seas that don't mix in a complete separate flow to the planets in orbit, alternating night and day as they stay in flow. The expansion of the universe and the creation of everything from H2O to the stories of the past and the preservation of Pharaoh to identifying the lowest point in the land where Persia defeated Rome the gushing fluid that created man in the glands between the ribs and the backbone and not a word has changed, it's still the same so please explain how all this was known over 1400 years ago to a man who couldn't read or write as he would recite whatever the angels spoke and if you still don't believe, please try to come up with something that's even close. But you can't. So we took God as a mockery and his messengers as a joke. Muhammad could not read or write. How somebody who can't read or write will start a religion. Dismiss the scriptures as legends and tales of the ancient folk as we live life according to our whims, desires, and hopes saying this life is the only home we will ever know we will live then die then simply turn to bones yo low correction after the grass dies the rain arrives and it regrows and Allah promises to do the same thing to your very soul and bring you back from your very fingertips to your toes as the all-seeing supreme being watches us so close and we are surely being tested in our wealth, our health, and our self and everything that we've been blessed with. So believe, for we will surely be resurrected and be brought back to our Lord and account for every single deed as he hands us our books and orders us to read. From the bad to the good and everything in between. You yourself are sufficient for your own accountability. So don't be mad at me. You are the one who thought he wouldn't come back to me. I gave you a whole life long to search after me. But you were busy in all that which was temporary. So read in glad tidings to all those who believed. And if you disbelieve, read. And don't let that day be the first day you find out what your life really means. Read. Hmm. You know that was that was interesting just to hear somebody else's take on on their faith and and what they believe in. I mean, I understand it because. For for a long time, even even back when uh, we were slaves, we were just taught a, a certain faith. It was kind of passed on to us, and we just automatically went with it. But what they told us, we never really took the time to sit down and read and to understand, you know what the Bible was saying. We always had questions, but we never really understand what the Bible was really saying. And basically what he's saying is don't don't wait till it's time, till your time is up on earth to figure out what your life was really meant to be. Don't wait. Don't wait till your last couple of days to finally sit down and read. When he said, I gave you, I gave you a whole life to find me. It's an interesting take, man. It's an interesting take. You know, um, we all we all have our own our own beliefs and our own ideals about how we were created and how everything was created. You know, it, it's just it it just gives me another perspective. I think that's what my channel was all about, just to give everybody an opportunity to let's sit down and let's talk about it, let's have a debate about it. It's nothing wrong with it. But I, the one thing I do ask is, is please be respectful in the comments. You know, everybody has their own 
thinking their own way, way of processing things and their own way and their own beliefs. Let's just respect each other, but let's still have this conversation. Let's let's talk about the narrative. You know, that's only that's only going to bring us closer together. So that's my reaction. Y'all hit the like and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell. Maybe try this video. Maybe try that video. So that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget, this your boy, Greg Reacts. Peace. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.